Hey there, this is Angela Kelly with BossFreePro.com, LearnToBeABoss.info. If you're following this video series, you know that I'm taking you step by step through an actual keyword research that I do for each one of my WordPress blogs. And I'm encouraging you to start here when you're building your WordPress blog so that you build a knowledgeable foundation and you know exactly what people are searching for in the search engines. So as you create your content in your WordPress blog, it will be found. So if you've already seen videos one and two, great. If you haven't, I encourage you to go back because you will need to create a brand new account in Google.com. It's called Google AdWords. And within Google AdWords, the tool that we'll be using today is called Keyword Planner. So I'm going to go right to the Keyword Planner now and show you how to pull the best keywords and put them inside of each of your blog posts as well as your blog title. Here we are in WordPress, so I'm sorry, in uh, the Google AdWords. The keyword that I'm actually going to be searching for is a keyword that I'm using to target this particular video series. So I'm entering the, uh, hold on here. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, we're going to click Get Ideas. It's asking me for the product or service, which what we're doing is we're actually searching for the keyword depending on what you're looking for. I leave this as all locations, English, Google, native keywords. The same thing that you see right here. I actually don't add any filters and um, I do not make any exclusions or inclusions unless I'm looking for a word such as not this. I would, I would put that um, in there, but it's usually a lot easier when you use it um, as is and go through the keywords on your own. As you can see, we've come up with some pretty great keywords. Now, this is the way that I do my keyword research. Everyone will give you a different way. However, I do a lot of video marketing for YouTube as well as WordPress um, and video marketing combined, meaning that it's in my best interest to target very high quality and high um, volume keywords. Now, when I first got started, I actually targeted a lot of lower quality, lower, um, lower monthly searches, which this means how many people are actually searching for this particular keyword. So it's 147,000. Now I'm, I'm looking for the keyword, which was WordPress. It said WordPress and I don't see it here now. It was about 3 million searches. So, okay, this, this is what I want to show you. What you're looking for is a high number of monthly searches, as you can see here or in this example, you can see that this has 3 million searches. The competition is low, okay? We're gonna actually click on this particular word that's gonna open up the entire stream of words that we have to choose from. Now, the reason why the word WordPress is such a low competition keyword is because you don't know exactly what someone is looking for. They may be looking for WordPress training. They may be looking for WordPress theme. This isn't really a great word to target on its own, just WordPress. I wouldn't advise that. But let's say you're selling a training that's titled, What is WordPress? This is just an example. 18,000 monthly searches with a low competition. As you can see, this will probably be pretty profitable for you, depending on what you are selling, if it's related to explaining what WordPress is all about. So we're gonna keep going down because I'm actually looking for a very high quality of keyword. And I'm gonna find that right here as I record for you all. And what I'm doing is just scrolling right through these keywords to find out which one I like the best. And I don't see any so far, okay? And, hmm going to keep going and I'm going to show you my second method of getting the best keyword ideas which at this point a lot of these ideas are not specifically related to money keywords meaning when someone is typing these words in they're looking for a product or they're looking for something to purchase so all of these keywords are very general I probably wouldn't use any of these but Another example, if I was selling a WordPress backup software, this would be perfect. WordPress backup is, um, has a good amount of monthly searches. Anything over three to 4,000 is good. I like to hit um, 10,000 and, and more. 
but as you can see again this is one more example that I've given you so go through these words yourself once you find a word that you like for instance WordPress backup you want to click on these double arrows and it's going to add the word over to this right hand side now once it adds the words it'll give you additional words within that keyword that are also being searched as well so this is a great tool to use as you are building your WordPress blog and helping you to target what your searchers are looking for you want to be in the category that when someone types in this specific keyword that you are either coming up or you're very close to coming up so this is just a um, surface training so I want you all to Stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to go into the second part of how I do my keyword research. Okay, see you all soon. Bye-bye.